What's up, everybody? It's your boy White Bear Three Hundred Twenty Wood here. We're back. With episode of Skyrim. Now, last episode we did the uh, crafting skills, which we call it. I just want to show y'all. Where is it? Alchemy Twenty Six. I did put it back down to Twenty Six, and I did, and I did lower my level back down to Seventy Eight, which is I'm pretty sure where it was at. Not positive. It was at uh, Seventy Eight or Seventy Nine. But yeah, I got all that done, so no cheating happening. The last episode, well, that episode, I said we are going to do the Bard's College. And that's what the fuck we're going to do. So, that was a very unnecessary fuck in there. Like, there's no need for that. I'm sorry. It is my personal mission to ensure that... We're going to do apply. Always a pleasure to meet a prospective Bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. Cool. When possible, we ask applicants. I have a pretty good application. Not gonna lie. Completed. Harbinger of the companions. In this case, I do have a task befitting um, an aspiring bard. What do you need me to do? Elisif has forbidden Mr. the burning Cole. of King Olaf. Archmage of the Mage College. By the bard's college, we need to change her mind. To I don't know if I can really play the Dark Brother and the Thieves Guild on the resume. I mean, those are both kind of, of the poetic edda, under the table the living history organizations. Of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost <clears throat> long ago. And that's where I come in? Yes. According to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. Respite. I Maybe. need Respite. you to retrieve the poem. Okay, I'm not even going to ask. Luck in finding the verse. It did become our active quest, right? Yeah. So where is Dead Man's Respite? Over there? Go to Brood Cavern. Pretty sure there's a dragon in this area. Maybe we'll get a dragon fight. We haven't had one of those in a long ass time. Ooh. I hear him. I also hear them bears. Oh jeez. That looks like an elder. The hiding dragons. Fuck my word. Where? Fuck my music. So we'll have that set up for the just in case. What the hell's he fighting though? Are there two of them? Or something? Oh no, it's just that guy. They call him Yellow Dragon. And boom. Can't see shit. Goddamn wolf dude. That's uncalled for. Hey, Shadow here. Buddy, I need your help. Okay, he's back up. I cannot leave him over there for the life of me. I'm trying. Is he on Halo now? Looks like it. Or something that's behind him, actually. Alright, let's see where he's going. Now, it? Jeez, buddy. I can't who you're going after, man. I can't run into thing all the damn time. He's going down pretty fast, at least. Man, that horse is falling ass. What the fuck? A little bit of a high fire there. A little bit of a graphical glitch, actually. What the hell are you trying to hide, buddy? It's a brave-ass motherfucker for having a knife over here. Wait, does the guy just have a dagger out right now? Oh, shit. How do I get into the place? There it is. I'll find it. He's about dead, though. Oof. Ash pile. Yeah, buddy. The hell did you even have out? I've been hunting and fishing in years. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The so yard can hardly eat every ah. day now, can he? I cannot trust you. I don't know why I'm killing this fella. I felt like it. Relatively bright. Diamond, dragon bones, sapphire. All the works. Okay, well, that was fun. Anyways, I'm to Dead Man's Respite. That's what we're going to be calling it from now on. Dead Man's Respite. Let's get on in here. I just heard another fucking dragon. Like, right before the big old dungeon noise. I heard another goddamn dragon. 
Motherfuckers, man. Oh, hey. Hey, Mr. Bard Ghost. It's been a while. I really should have looked around first. Ayla? I don't mean to be that guy, but could you, like, you know, do something for once? Please? I mean, all she ever does is stand there and get hit. It's kind of... It's kind of getting old. And these guys... Put them orcish boots back. I don't want that shit in my life. These guys... These, uh, Jarger, they don't... They, like, aren't enemies. They actually count as vet vessels... Which means that the Baron Zaya thing affects them in the code. So there you go. Search all those guys. If you want a decent bit, it's our way out. Oh hey. All right. So we're coming down here now. So, anything back here? Nope. Well, Ayla, I don't know what the hell to tell you. I mean, you're supposed to be some sort of super warrior, right? Like, how you getting yourself caught in these predicaments? Alright, he went in there. Bunch of creature trolleys. Not anymore. This is a ruined ass book, okay. I just got done playing Fallout. So I keep on hitting A for everything. Something better back here? Yep. There we go. Take it. Now where am I supposed to be going again? It's supposed to be some sort of maze, right? Well, howdy. Um, I'm going to kill you from back here. Shoot you down a little bit. Hopefully that's okay. There's so much more magic now. Insane. It used to be that one of those Death Lords would uh, take up all my magicka. But now that I have it set up. Of course, Ayla jumped through. Yeah, that would have killed me. The buying game. But yeah, now that I have it set up. With all the hundred skills and whatnot, I don't really have that problem. A lot more magic. Good. I'm turning a lot more people into ash. I don't, I don't know if it's correlate, but I notice it's happening a lot more often. Dwarven arrows on that guy—that's always nice. Any surprises? No. This place kind of gives itself off as a maze, but it's really not. You just have to follow it. Like, if, if you were to look at a schematic of it from on high... I don't know what I grabbed, but I'll sell it later. If you looked at a schematic of the place from on high, it would look like a maze. But it's really not much of one. Now, the... Operative magic with these guys is flames. But I've made pretty much a full transition over to sparks now. I just like it better. I was hoping to get that driver since he would have been a vessel, but I guess not. Speaking of vessels. Alright, down we go, I guess. 
Anything down here? Dead bodies? No. <laughs> Alright. Coming on through here. Could have sworn there was a Draugr in this spot right here. There's a archery fellow up there. Hey, whatever it is you're doing, I need you to stop. I got this. This guy I might not have. I might run out of magic. Or not. Or Ayla will just one shot that bastard. Cause fuck him, right? I couldn't see where the hell the case was that opened. Like I heard it, I just couldn't see it. Man, them flicks of the wrist though. Should really start using the sniper more often. And see us go. I feel like I'd be okay at it. Speaking of CSGO, though, I don't think I've ever used scope weapons. <laughs> Speaking of a completely different game than we're playing. Yeah, I don't think I've ever used um, scope weapons in that game. Like, seriously, I've used it as a joke. But... Damn. You've got to time this shit perfectly. Okay. That's why I quick save right here. No. I don't think giving myself any extra armor would work. Do I have ebony flesh on this? I suppose I could, you know, take it in breaks. That'd probably work. There it is. I can't remember which one was my health. I could jump down there and get his body, but are his arrows really that worth it? Oh, damn. There's some bright ass fog there. Are arrows really that worth it? I don't think so. Anybody around the corner? Just that feller. Can't get in there just yet. Sealed off. Hello, lovely. Yeah, focus on Ava. You'll be fine. <laughs> Shit, that was loud. God damn, dog. You need to check them vocals. I literally jumped a little bit there. I don't know if I just have my headset really loud or something, but god, that was like noxiously loud, like shit. Oof. Hmm. Strange. Let's go ahead and unlock this here. Just a little bit this way? Wrong way. Maybe too much of that way. I don't fucking know. A little bit that way. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. In here. Okay. Master. Ain't nothing too hard about a master if you have enough picks. Boom. A fucking wizard. I'll take that to sell it. Be careful. Yeah, I picked up the sneak roll so I could do shit like that. You think you can sneak past me, Mr. Restless Jogger? Huh? I don't fucking think so. That's gonna be a pain. Spoke wrongly there. I feel like I got it pretty easily. That guy, oddly enough, didn't have any gems. Must be a rather low luck sort of thing. I can roll now. So he wants me to go down there, and I have a feeling the only way to get down there is to pull certain levels. Levels? Levers. 
So I'm gonna go find that real fast. I heard that dude. And I saw him. I just wanted to get that guy. Come on now. They're just making it easy for me at this point. Oh, somebody's getting drawn on. Sword drawn on. There it goes. Perfect. Gold me on gold. Rest is driver. Got caught on the spikes there. That's strange. I'd say that's ever happened to me before. I probably already searched that. And I'm just very bad with Zen memory. There's two of them here. You put that away now. Alright. These guys are rather oblivious, but that's fine. Helps me out in the long run, I guess. Weapons. Y'all see that expert scroll down? Landed perfectly on it. Relatively proud of that. Landed on it again. Once more. Strange. Is there any point to killing these guys? Were they all supposed to come charging at me at once or something? Well, damn if I ain't blind. Alright, so here's this fella's body. Don't mind if I take that, do you? Olaf's verse. Looks like an FBI file. Alright, Olaf. Let's go kick some king. Go kick some king. We'll just leave it at that. So kingly ass. Was that what I was about to say? I don't fucking know. I don't think I don't think things through before I say them. Then it won't be all that fun. Alright, up here. I'm gonna bust this door open. Door. Alright. Let's get on in here. Items. Miscellaneous. What, what was it? Ruby? Ruby Dragon Claw. Wolf. Eagle Wolf. Must have walked right past him or something. Alright, it's F5. Because this will be a tad bit of a thing. It is time. Yeah, Olaf. It's time, man. I don't give a damn about no Draugr. Yeah. We have ourselves a tab of a thing. You stay away from me, some bitch. Just kill this scourge first. I don't have to deal with that dude for too long. Wait, just said something about Croesus. Alright, got him. I don't know why I needed to put away my. They all kind of like standing up at a different time. That dude hurt for quite a bit, actually. Yo, Ayla, what are you doing? I'm go I'll get him down. Creepy sounding, not gonna lie. 
Actually hit me. I was right around so it went and hit me. Wait for my magic to reach it. Go ahead and take down this Draga Scourge. Yeah, and try to avoid the arrows. Aim it. Hopefully he doesn't move. Is that just a Scourge? God damn, for a Scourge he hits like a fucking freight train. Those four are not going to be fun. Pretty sure those guys are up next. Too. Go ahead and F5 this. And hide. F5 and hide. We're going to search everything afterwards so I don't get confused. Okay. I'm just hiding. I don't give a shit about this ghost. I ain't gonna die for him. But not all death wars, at least. That guy is, though. They're all seeing. What's his name? Get your goddamn frost head trigger out of my way. What the hell is Ayla? What's Ayla doing? Did she get locked out? That's what I'm guessing. Alright, took care of that issue. Took care of those two issues. Now we're this guy. Killing him. Magic can't be an issue, I guess. It's better than health being an issue, so we'll st stay nice and far back. Of course, I could use a bow, but then arrows would be an issue. Unless I use the bound bow. God damn. Yeah, Ayla is stuck back there. That's unfortunate. Hola. Insolent bird. Back behind Die. So this is the king, I guess. <laughs> Olaf one eye. I think he'd be like a death overlord or something. So I'm pretty much max level, but no. no it's just a death lord. Death lord is going down like a bitch, too. You gonna unlock that for me? Now he's just gonna do some sort of dance. Alright, doors open. That's always nice. Let's see what word we get here. Fury, whirlwind, sprint. Cool. Oh, well, that's fucked up. Making it so I can't get in there. I think that's probably a glitch. Okay, we're all good there. Let's open this bad boy up. Treasure room. Well, it's garnet, garnet. Is this gold? Is this gold? No, I hope not. Is this gold? Jump on through here. Pretty sure that's it for the enemies. Go ahead. Quick save, just in case. Because sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's enemies after the main enemy. Nope, nope, that was it. That was the front area. Like I thought it was. Right, let's get back out here. Hopefully we can get our map open before that Skyrim. That Skyrim? Before that dragon spawns back in. Up here, that's where we need to go. Yep. Turn around, come down this way. Alright. Pop on in here. Open up the Bard's College. Talk to this feller. 
Ah, you've returned. I have to admit, I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, so you sent me there thinking I wouldn't get shit out of it and would probably oh. die. Thank you. Oh, no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. Now That's what happens that when it sits in a dink ass tomb for well, a long ass time. Verse has come a long way since ancient times. By dank, I don't mean smoky. I mean moldy and wet. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Ellis. Oh, there are, there are an abnormal the amount of fires of burning festival. in those tombs, so it might have been smoky. If you know, steel tomb of the with an ever burning flame. She won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's a record saying when the Bard's College started that shit, but. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I don't want to be that guy. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. All right, oh, Olaf, let's do this. Our subjugator, the one eyed betrayer. Uh huh. Death dealing demon and dragon killing king. Your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One Eye. Yeah. He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to. How many King Olaf do you know? What did we say well, really happened? Well, these are supposed to be Nords, so. I find that highly yeah. unlikely. But the court will. We're going to persuade him in all these. Writing it in. So what's Olaf next? Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, solitude attacked Winterhold, but as Gear seemed to be saying, Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Um, yeah. Oh, that is exciting. I'm sure the court and the Yara will love it. I'm, I'm writing it in now. Is that it? It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. Okay. Let's go listen to this guy talk out of his ass for a little bit. Ah, the Armo. I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. Damn straight. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer. Uh -huh. Death dealing demon and dragon killing king. Your legend is lost. That's what's dead space between words, man. I'm not even talking about dead space, but I'm just talking about dead space. No shouting match between dragon and man, and no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf was Numenex in human form. On moonless nights, he would spread wings and sail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From all grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong. Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Like I've heard of this before. Olaf lie. gave orders, winter hold disguises, an attack on solitude, total destruction to follow. His men dressed up and then went out to fight, but they reversed Olaf's orders much to winter hold's sorrow. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief, and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train okay. for their service. There is that. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. Not really very grainy, I guess. Well, hey, no, the festival stop. is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. Yeah, you think she would have felt a little I more towards that? The college thanks you, false Darl. kings and whatnot. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be generously rewarded. Oh, and I better get some of that generous again. reward, man. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in. Recovering the poem will be well. Hauling ass rewarded. out there getting attacked by dragons, slaying Unbelievable. out hordes of undead. That's a great service here. I'm gonna get I a little bit of gold. To thank you enough. Does that mean I'm a soon, bard? Soon. 
These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! Okay, let's go talk to Yorn. At least he's downstairs. I am Dean of Luke at the bar to Ah, the no, bar to be. Did Viarmo send you? Festival's back I on, buddy. everyone we're ready. But we'll start the festival at dusk. Of course Come he will. talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Okay. What time is it? 2.59? So, hey, seven hours. See if that works. It's after dark, buddy. Ah, the bard to great. Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Could Olaf. Could just done this during the daytime, but you know, fuck logic, right? All right, let's get out of here. Highest mountain in all of Tamriel. Cool. Alright, so we're just gonna stand here and watch this bitch burn. We're gonna wait another hour. See if we can't speed it up. Welcome to Solitude, home of the arts here in Skyrim. Welcome, people of right. Solitude! We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. Damn Skippy. Damn Skippy. With it's a very the awkward lighting clap. Of the effigy, Burn it. He becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard. Cool. Hey, why aren't you clapping, asshole? Oh, there you go. I think they like you. That didn't really sound like it, but... Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. Yeah, I know all What's about more, that. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. That's a little overkill. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. That's it. Jackass. <laughs> Six out of five. I haven't... For some reason it's glitched and we'll get rid of that, but... I get out of this shithole because everybody's talking. But anyways, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. God damn. How far away do I have to get from these people? Guard. Alright, here should be good. Give me that noisy. Damn. Anyways. That's that. You know, we did some good work today. Got a bunch of action going instead of just me leveling shit, which is good. Um, next episode, we'll be helping out the instructors. You know, this needs to be a college thing. I thought the instructors were supposed to help us, but, you know, fuck it. But yeah, that's going to do it for me this episode, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you liked the video, then feel free to swim by for the next one. Thank you.